So I'm sitting in the van, waiting for the kids to come out. They could be a while. They don't have cell service in the basement where they're watching a movie with the friends. I suspect it could be a long wait. But across the street, I see a sign for a nature preserve. I think I'm going to go check it out. If they come out, they can call me or whatnot. They'll figure out where I am. My van's sitting right here. Okay, I'll take you with me. How's that sound? All right, so this is where I'm at, waiting for my kids just across the street. So I thought, I'll come check out this nature preserve. I didn't even know it was here. This isn't even that far from from home. I really should probably watch where I walk. Oh, there's a dog back here. I can hear it. Or maybe it's... And there's housing there. I didn't lock the doors on my van. Okay. Chocolate Bayou Nature Preserve. The Nature Preserve has been protected for the community since 2016 with the collaboration of 20 partnering organizations and the generosity of people like you. Like you? Doesn't that make you feel special? Wow. Hiking, wildlife observation, skiing, photography. Ooh, photography. Okay, let's go check it out. Okay, I gotta take a picture of the map. Okay, I don't know how far I should go on this trail. It's kind of getting dark. I've never been down it, but I see they have some orange trail markers. Orange, red. And they have some signs. And it didn't look very far on that map, but you never know. Oh. There are eastern white pines back here. I'm not very good at identifying trees, though. Another... Yeah, this trail will be easy to figure out where you're at. They've got it marked really well. Still, I'm by myself and it's almost dark. Hmm. I watch, um, I follow a couple vlogs and they're single women hiking. Let's see, the Pacific Crest Trail. And there's another one. And they're by themselves and they, oh, I still have the wrong shoes on. These are slick. And there are a lot of pine needles in them. Huh? So I watch these women and I think, oh, I'd like to walk one of those. I always wanted to do the Appalachian Trail. Then I think, a woman alone by myself? And they do some hikes at night in the dark. I do not like the dark. This is really pretty back here. Turn the camera around so you guys can get a look. Oh, looks like a deer blind up there. Let's check out this thing. Oh, there's a door on it. Hope there's nothing hiding inside of it. Oh, it's an observatory. So you can sit in here during the day. Oh, somebody's put a bird feeder out there. There's like a little river, a little creek that runs, um, then there's some land just past the creek, you can't see it back there, and then Lake Superior. Wow. So during the day you can come sit out here and watch animals. I mean, I just saw a deer cross the road just a little ways down, so while it's not real. Oh, somebody put a bird feeder there deer blind for hunting it surely is a, a deer blind somebody made a nice nice little blind oh this would be cool to have at my house okay now i don't know where this trail goes but the arrow says go to the left so i guess i'll follow it to the left although there's a trail that goes to the right back there let's see oh and then there's White birch, what do you think? Yes, white birch. Pretty cool. Okay. Nice little trail. I'll have to take the kids back here. That's pretty cool. <laughs> See? And their house is right right out there. That'd be cool to have your land right here. Of course, strangers like me come walking through. It must be why they have it the trail marked so well. Because there are houses all around. 
This is really a neat little trip. You can hear the birds. So now the house where the kids were at, visiting the friends. I'm like, why would you want to live there? But it's just right across the street from this place. So not such a bad location after all. And the highway's just as loud here as it is back at my house. What a neat little trail. I know I keep saying that because really what more is there to say? There's so much to see. I think that's the white pine. It's got um, long needles. I think the white pine has long needles. I don't know why these leaves are all... It seems... Maybe they're... It's not... It doesn't seem natural fall leaves, but they're all that way. But it looks like maybe some... It's got black spots on it. It's got black spot disease. Oh, I'm just making that up. I have no idea. And guess what? I'm back at the beginning of the trail. So wow, what a super cute little nature trail. Very unexpected. And I didn't know about it because it's only been here since 2016. So a couple of years. I bet that tree's been here only two years too. And the kids still aren't out, so now I gotta go sit in my car by myself. Okay, my van by myself. Yeah. What an unexpected surprise. Mm -hmm.